Okay, before we start, for all of you who are just starting off for the first time or still newbies when it comes to fitness, you can follow Janet here. She's going to be doing the modified version of all the exercises. For those that are advanced or intermediate level, of course, feel free to follow John at any time. All right? Okay, so let's start with our warm-up. First exercise, we're going to do jog in place. So basically, jog in place. We're going to do our warm-ups for 20 seconds. Each and every exercise, 20 seconds only. So as you can see, John is doing the modified version. It's John is doing the advanced or intermediate version. The purpose of this is to increase your core temperature and get you to start sweating right away. And stop. Next, we're going to do deep squats. So basically, spread your legs wide open, arms uh, by your chest, and go down as low as you can. Get that stretch and up. Good, down. Feel the stretch there, up. Good, the lower you go, the better. Go down, feel the stretch here and here, up. Down, get the stretch, and up. Just keep doing this for 20 seconds. And up, down, and up. Our third stretch for today is called the toe deadlift. So basically, all you have to do is sit down, grab your toes, and then stand up. Keeping your hands on your toes the whole time, you're gonna feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Down, and up, down, and up, down, and up. The straighter your legs go, the more stretch you're gonna feel in your hamstrings. So try to straighten it as much as possible. Down, and up, down, up, down, and up. Okay, good. Our next warm-up exercise are called spider climbers. This, uh, this exercise, you're gonna go down on the floor in a push-up position, and then you're gonna bring your foot out towards your hand, then push your hips down towards the floor. Get a good stretch right here. Then return and switch legs. Push your hips down again. You should feel the stretch in your hip flexors. And then return. Other leg again. Push down. Come back. And other side. And that's it. Okay, for our next exercise, we're going to be doing inverted V-ups. Now for the inverted V-ups, we're going to go into a V position. So get on the floor. It's like a letter, inverted letter V or letter A. And then from this position, you want to push your head back towards your feet. That way we're getting a good stretch right here on your shoulders and on your chest. From there, you want to reverse it and go forward and down. Push your hips down. Good, get a stretch on your abs. Then go back again. Good. Emphasize and make sure you feel the stretch here in your shoulder joints. And go back down again. And good. Our last exercise, our last warm-up exercise are called deep lunges. Okay, for deep lunges, all we're going to do now is we're going to take this big step forward. Good. Then drop the back leg. And then make sure you feel the stretch right here on your hip flexor, which is right, right there. Then back up, then we're gonna reverse leg. Switch, stretch, and reverse. Good, again, big step forward, down, feel the stretch, come back up. And that concludes our warm up. Just make sure you do this exercise for 20 seconds. How many reps you do is up to you. Just make sure to always do your warm up before we start our workout program. Okay guys, before we start our first pocket workout of the day, make sure you do your warm up first. All right, our first exercise today, seal jacks. Start standing up straight, arms on the side. Ready guys, set and go. Good, so as you can see, Janet is doing the modified version. If you're a beginner, if you're a first timer, you wanna go at this pace first. And then if you're a little bit stronger, you can follow John and you can go even faster if you want to. Remember, it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Good. And stop. Good job. For our next exercise, we're going to do ankle jacks. Basically, in a standing up position again, you're going to bring your butts down and you're going to touch your ankles. And afterwards, you're going to go jump up while spreading your legs outwards. Good. Again, then we go back down, jump up. 
Good. All right, that's pretty much it. You guys ready? Set and go. Good. Now, for those that have knee problems or any form of leg problems, you can follow Janet. This is a modified version, very minimal impact at all. But with John, if you do this exercise, you're going to rev up your metabolism so high, it's going to burn a lot of calories. So pick which one suits you. And stop. Good job, guys. Now, 10 seconds rest, and after which, we're going to do side-to-side -side push ups Okay, everyone go to push-up position. Basically, all we're gonna do is we're gonna do a regular push-up position, but we're gonna go side to side. Okay, you guys ready? Set and go. Now, if you watch Janet's position, she's doing this on her knees, which is definitely gonna lessen the body weight. So for all the first timers out there, you can do this form of side to side push-ups and still get the same effect as what John is doing. Good. And stop. Okay, 10 second rest, after which we're going to do the seal jacks all over again. All right guys, this is pocket workout number two. It's actually going to be very exciting because we're going to be using TheraBands for this workout. All right, so with the third bands, all you need to do is grab them and get a little stretch. Good. When you stretch the third bands, your shoulders are automatically firing, so that's a good thing. Now we bring them up, up above the head. There you go. For our first exercise, we are going to do overhead squats. So maintaining this position, you're going to do a squat. So guys, let's go down and up. Good. Down. And up, keep pulling the third band. Good, down, and up, good. With this exercise, you're firing the legs, your core, and your shoulders all at the same time. So guys, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. You guys ready? Get set, and go. Good, now always remember, for first timers and beginners, go at your own pace, just like what Janet is doing. For intermediate and advanced, Go as fast as you can and do as many reps as you can within 30 seconds. Good. Always try to maintain good, proper form while doing this exercise. And up. Good. And stop. Good job, guys. 15 seconds rest. Then we're going to go on to the overhead theraband rows. All right, overhead theraband rows. A while ago, we just hit the full body. Now we're gonna hit your back. Theraband's up in the air. Give it a little pull. John, I need you to turn around. Okay, pull the theraband down. Stop, perfect. This exercise is gonna hit everything right here, as you can see from the muscles on John, the way it's flexing with this exercise. Up and down, up and down. Remember, you can also use a towel if you don't have a theraband at home. All right, guys? Okay, ready, guys? 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Down and up. Good, good. Maintain the tension. Keep your body straight. Keep your core tight. Good. Make sure you feel it on your back. Good, and stop. 15 second break, then we're going to go to the in and out planks. All right guys, exercise number three, we're going to do in and out planks. For this exercise, we're not going to need the third bands. Guys, down on the floor, we're going to go to a push-up position. 
For all the girls, for all those that are still beginners, go on your knees like what Janet is doing. For everybody else, follow John. So basically, it's a core workout. You need to keep your uh, glutes tight, you need to activate your core and keep your body as straight as possible. Ready, guys? So basically, you're going to go in, put your hands together, and then spread your arms out. Spread your hands out. One, one. Good. And again. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. While you're doing this, just make sure your body is perfectly straight because there's a tendency for your body to swing up and down as you do this exercise. All right, guys, 30 seconds. Ready, get set, go. Good. Watch John's form, core stable, hips are, hips are stable, good. Same with Janet. Every time your knees are on the floor, you're lessening your body weight, so it's less tiring and less stressful for you if you are doing this exercise. Good. And stop. 15 second break. Then we're going to go to prone TheraBand rows. For the prone TheraBand rows, you're going to need your TheraBands. So guys, go grab your TheraBands again. Good. Now we're going to go lie down facing downward. So this is similar to a Cobra position earlier. I need your hands up forward. Now we're going to pull the third band, put some tension in your scapula and your shoulders. All right. From this position, you're going to pull the third band towards your chest. Good. And then return forward, pull back again, return forward, pull back again. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Everyone ready? Get set and go. Good. Always remember when you do any of these exercises, go at your own pace. If you're fit and strong, you can go fast or even faster. If you're a beginner, go slow. Go at to the pace that you can follow. Good. Good. And stop. 15 second break, guys. After this, we're going to go skier jumps. Our next exercise is called skier jumps. Did you know that jumping is actually one of the best ways to boost your metabolism? Simple skips and simple jumps can actually fire metabolism so fast that you're going, to be end, you're going to end up burning a lot of calories, all right? So for skier jumps, we're going to have two versions. Janet's going to do the modified version. There we go. Good. So pretend you're skiing, you're going side to side. She's using both legs. Good. Really easy. Now we're going to go to John, intermediate advanced version. You're going to do the same thing, but this time you're going on one leg. Perfect. Good. Balance, stability, jumping, total leg workout. All right. You guys ready? 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Good. Guys, always remember, the more repetitions you do, the more calories you're going to end up burning. So always go at your own pace, but if you can push, push a little bit more. Great. Good, guys. And stop. Another 15 second break. Then we're going to go to plank twists. After hitting your legs, now it's time to hit your core once again. So we're going to go on the floor. We're going to do plank twists. So we're going to go in a pl uh, plank position. For the beginners, 
Follow Janet. We want your knees on the floor. Pause for everybody else. We want you to follow John. Body fully, fully straight. For this one, we want to make sure your core is engaged and your body is fully straight. And from this position, you're going to rotate outside and bring your hand towards the sky. Good. Return back down. Switch sides. Go back down again. Switch sides. Go back down. And switch sides. Good job, guys. All right. You guys ready? We're going to do this for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, go. Good. Good. This plank rotation is another good exercise to replace your typical abdominal crunches. People don't think it's going to work, but it actually works a lot more than doing your traditional regular crunch. Good. Good. And stop. Good job, guys. 15 second break, after which we're going to go prone side to side tuck jumps. Prone side to side tuck jumps. One of my most favorite exercises to do. Everybody go on a uh, push up position. Okay, again, this is going to be the modified version and this is going to be the full version. Let's start with the modified version. Body fully straight, you're going to put your feet, your foot outside, then follow it up, then return again. Good. Go to the other side and return again. Good. So you just alternate back and forth. Full version, we're going to jump. Ready, and jump. Good, return, jump, and return, jump, and return. That's pretty much it, guys. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. You guys ready? Get set, and go. Good. Good. Again, depending on your fitness level, you can go as fast as you can. Good. Doing great, guys. And stop. Rest for 15 seconds, then we're on to our last exercise. One again, one of my favorites, the get up. Get ups. The reason I enjoy giving this workout is because it seems so easy to do, but it's actually very difficult to execute. I'll show you guys why. Everybody, let's go on a supine position or lying down position facing up. Okay, legs fully straight. And what we're gonna do is basically we're just gonna stand up from this position. Again, like I said, it looks easy, but when, once you try to start doing it, it's actually not that easy. We're gonna start with Janet. Janet, I need you to go up, go roll to your side first, and then stand up using your hands. Good, then go back down. And leg straight, start again. Put your hands on the side, and stand up. Good, go down. This is the modified version. Advanced version, we are going to do this single leg style. John's gonna demonstrate to us how it's done. Ready, John? Get set. And go. Awesome. Do it again, John. Up. And awesome. Good. Now, if you're not as advanced as John, you can still do the single leg get up, but with hand support. So, John, you can use your hands. Show us how it's done. Get your hands there, but still do single leg. Perfect. Down again. And one more time. Up. Stand up. Great job. Okay. You guys ready? Get set. 30 seconds. Go. Good. Start body straight. Good. 
You want to try to do as many of these as you can and you want to go as fast as possible. Good. Nice one. And stop. Good job, guys. I'll take a one minute break and repeat workout two and do two more rounds. Now that we're finished our first workout, we're going to proceed and do a little cool down before you end your day. It's only going to be one exercise, but it's going to involve a lot of muscles. All right, so follow us. First thing we're gonna do is, I want you to stand as straight as possible. Stand tall, keep your spine up. Then you're gonna take a big step backwards. Okay, get the stretch on your legs. Drop the back leg down. Then I need your arms up in the air. Get a stretch here, all the way up. There you go, feel the stretch on your chest and on your shoulders. From this position, you're stretching here and you're stretching here. I need you to rotate towards the front leg. So rotate towards the front leg. We're stretching your obliques. Feel the stretch. Hold for five seconds. Then return slowly. And then step back. We're gonna do the other leg. Ready guys, and other leg. Step, deep lunge, arms up in the air. Rotate towards the front leg. Feel the stretch. Good. Hold this for five seconds. Five seconds. Like I said, it's a total body uh, cool down. And return. Stand up. Other leg again. Big step. Drop. Rotate. Good. Hold for five seconds. Try to keep your balance. And return. Good. Other leg again. Drop down. Feel the stretch on your legs. Rotate. You should be feeling the stretch here. Stretch here. Stretch on your shoulders. And stretch over here. Return. Good. Other leg, guys. Drop. Arms up in the air. And rotate. Good. Hold for five. And return. Try to repeat this exercise around five to seven times, depending on how tight you feel. Now, if you want to know more about the SuperBods workout, please visit www.centurytuna.ph slash SuperBodsChallenge. Visit the website and join the six-week challenge to be a SuperBod.